spreading of cancer. Regular mammograms have been around for 50 years with some improvements like going digital. A radical new improvement now has the diagnostic community buzzing. I went in for my baseline mammogram and uh, nothing was found. So I went in this year, annual screening again on my birthday, 41st birthday. And they said, come back because there's some subtle distortion. We caught up with Jennifer right after she'd had this new kind of screening, which is very valuable for women like her who have dense breasts. 3D breast imaging or tomosynthesis uh, uses the latest technology in digital imaging. We used to just take uh, four pictures of the breasts, uh, two of each uh, side, uh, and create a 2D image. Now we can take uh, about 100 additional pictures and the one millimeter slices are able to uh, separate the overlying tissues, um, able to show distortions, masses, things that we were never able to see before. A subsequent ultrasound and MRI confirmed that Jennifer did have invasive lobular carcinoma. The diagnosis was a little more than three weeks ago. It's um, early stage one. It's, uh, you know, it's the kind that spreads and usually doesn't, it's very hard to find physically. And it tends to be bilateral. Uh, and because of my age, you know, only 41, uh, I made the decision that the bilateral mastectomy was the right answer for me, so. It's been quite a month. <laughs> if Jennifer hadn't uh, come in for the tomosynthesis, it's unlikely that the mass would have been found till it was probably palpable and, and possibly had spread to um, other areas of her body. Recent study has shown uh, that uh, across the country that adding the tomosynthesis to the digital mammogram has increased detection rates close to about 30%. Um, and has decreased the callback rates, uh, which are essentially the false positives, by about 16%. These callbacks and false positives cause a great deal of anxiety. Meanwhile, women are left with conflicting guidelines about when to start getting mammograms. Some people say not to even start till 50 or to come every other year. In Jennifer's case, 10 years would have made all the difference for her, and her lesion again was, was caught early. Early detection is really important and very, very lucky that they found it as early as they did. We are happy to share that Jennifer's lymph nodes were clear and she does not need any radiation or chemo.